good morning to students in previous video we have learned about dictionary so dictionaries are used to store the data values in the form of key value pairs so we have learned that uh, the dictionaries are ordered changeable and do not allow the duplicate values and this is the format in which we can write the dictionary here d1 is the dictionary we have taken dictionary name the dictionaries are always written within the curly brackets and here the key value pair is name which is the key and its value is john in the same way age and class are the keys and 10 and 1 are its value respectively to print any dictionary we have given the print command and with within this we have given the d1 that is dictionary name it will print the dictionary now we will learn about some of the methods which we can use on the dictionaries. First is the access element. So in dictionary, we can access the elements by using its key name inside the square bracket. For example, here we have dictionary name that is G1 in which we have stored the values name, John, H10 and class 1. So if we want to print any uh, key value pair, so what we will do, we will give the print command. Within this print command, we will type the dictionary name. Here the dictionary name is G1. And within the square brackets, we will give its key, key name. So here the key name is given name. So what we will do, it will print the value which is associated with the key name. So as we print this, it will print the, run this, it will print John because the value which is associated with the key name is John. The second method to, which is used to access the element is get method. It will also give the same result as we were getting in the previous one. What we are doing here, we have taken one variable and in this variable, what we are doing, we have uh, used the dictionary name that is G1 dot get means we are using the get method and in this get method within the round brackets we are giving the key name and after that we are printing a because the value which we get from this get method it will store in the variable a and after that we will print it so it is also printing the same value which is associated with the name key John. So both the methods, the first one and the second one, provide the same value. Third method, we are using a key. So key method, it will return the list of all the key values, only the key values, key names, we can say only the key names it will print by using this key method. For example, we have taken a variable A. In this, we have stored D1 that is that was the name of a dictionary dot key means we are using the key methods and it will store all the values all the names of the keys which are present in D1 dictionary and store in variable A after that we will print A so we will get all the dictionary keys key name which are associated with the dictionary D1. We can also change the values uh, as we know that dictionaries are changeable by referring to its key name. For example, if we are having a dictionary B1 and this key value pairs are present and suppose we want to change the value of class, we want to change the value to 2 associated with the key class. So what we will do, we will write the name of the dictionary. And after that, within the square bracket, the name of the key, which we, whose value we want to change. So here we want to change the value of key class. And after that, we will assign a new value, which we want to give it to that key. Now, as we print this, what we will do, we will get the class values, class values change to two. So in this way, we can change the values of dictionaries. After that, we can also add the element and a new element to our already existing dictionary. So we are here, we are taking the same example. Divan dictionary is there and suppose you want to add a new Q, Q 
key value pair to it, the key is subject and the value associated to it is data science. So for example, uh, we have taken the same dictionary and uh, we will write the name of the dictionary and within the square bracket, we will write the key name. So here the key name we want to assign is subject. And in this key name, we want to give a value data science. So as soon as we print that dictionary D1, we can see that the new key value pair is added in this already existing dictionary that is G1. In the same way, we can also remove the elements. So for removing the elements, we can use two methods. First is the pop method and the second is the pop item method. So first we will look at the pop method. For example, we have this dictionary D1 and we want to remove the specified item. So we, what we will do, we will call that dictionary D1 dot pop method we are using here. And within this pop method, we can give the value of the, we can uh, give the name of that key which we want to delete. So suppose you want to delete the key class. So as soon as we give the name of the key here and print D1, it will remove the key as well as its associated value. So here you can see that the name John and H10 is showing, but the class and its value means this key value pair is not showing. So it means that when we are providing the key name with the pop method, it will also delete its value because the key value pairs are all associated. Now we will come to the pop item method. In this, in the same way, we can use it d1 dot pop item. But what will what is the difference between the pop and pop item? Pop removes the specified item which we give it uh, with its method. But pop item we does not provide here any value or key name. It just removes the last element. So as you can see here again the class element is presented. But as we use the pop item with dictionary name and print it, so it will remove the last element that is class and its value. So that is the main difference between the pop and the pop item method, which, will, which we are using to remove any element. Thank you. In the next class, we will learn about the NumPy array.